And I am joined now by Galit Dan. Her home near the border with Gaza in southern Israel was attacked by Hamas fighters on Saturday. She was rescued, but her 12-year-old daughter and her 80-year-old mother, who were staying in a house nearby, are missing, feared kidnapped. Mm -hmm. Galit, first of all, uh, thank you so much for speaking with us during these incredibly difficult circumstances. And can you describe with uh, to us what happened on Saturday morning? We were attacked. It started with... Uh, red color alarm, uh, which is kind of regular. We run into the room, but uh, the safe room, but uh, very fast we heard a shooting. This is the first time in my life I hear shooting from so f so close, and um, I heard uh, a fight going on in the kibbutz. I was uh, in kibbutz Kisufim with my nine years old daughter and my boyfriend. My big girl, she was in the nearby kibbutz where my mother lives uh, in Nir Oz. The same thing happened there, only they couldn't lock the door of the safe room. And we were uh, locked in, in the safe room from 6 in the morning at 3 a.m. when the army wow. came and took us out. Uh, and with no food, no water, no toilet. At a certain moment, there was no um, electricity and we lost contact and no Wi-Fi. And only at uh, four o'clock in the morning, I understood that uh, my homeland, uh, my home kibbutz was uh, completely destroyed. I think I, I think I hear in the background, um, and we know you have a younger my daughter. Son. Are you handling this as a family? First of all, I am telling her the truth with no more, a lot of no not a lot of details, but the truth. Actually, it's not only my mother and uh, and my daughter. Uh, it's also my nephews um, and uh, my, the ex of my sister and a lot of people from the kibbutz near Oz. A lot of old people and also young people and babies. And they are all, we're all taken. We don't hear anything from him, from them, and anything from the government. Could you ever have imagined something like this happening? That that militants would be going door to door in your neighborhood. And you tell yourself everything will be okay, and then the worst nightmare is becoming true. You know, a terrorist came into my home, tried to open the door. We were. My boyfriend, me, and, and my young daughter, we couldn't breathe. We, we didn't move. We were scared. And he sat down in our saloon with his gun and shoot everybody who passed from the window, everybody. You know, uh, the soldiers. We heard everything. I can't imagine what is going on with my mom and, and my daughter and my nephews and all the people from Neuros, I, I, I don't want to imagine it.